What's going on guys, Awesome Retro here bringing you some more Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures. So we have Lightning Collection Wave 3 here where we've got the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. So we got just the basic version here. We've had the Dragon Shielded version before, so now we got the regular one. Then of course we have Lord Drac, the newer character in the Power Ranger series, which is really cool, different version of Tommy there, so that's awesome. And then figures I don't care much about, but we got the entire wave, so I thought it might as well do it. So we got the Dino Charge Gold Ranger and the Beast Morphers Blue Ranger from the newer season, so those two to go along with it, but again, I personally don't care about these two. But we got this set of four figures to go through and open and I've been loving this lightning collection so I'm excited to get into it. Before we do, don't forget if you enjoy this video leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel down below. Let's go and get into them. So first up we have the Red Ranger and again we've seen this Red Ranger before. It just had the dragon shield on it from that Jason 2 pack we got already so there's not a whole lot going on here and then it is the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger of Jason Lee Scott and so their outfits are pretty plain and basic so again there's not a whole lot of detail in on a lot of Power Ranger costumes because they're pretty much just you know a solid spandex outfit. So not a whole lot of details, but we have the helmet up top there. So again, based off the Tyrannosaurus there. So we have like the eyes of the Tyrannosaurus and its mouth with all the teeth. And then of course it has the visor there in the little mouth area. So it looks pretty cool. It's a weird kind of shape though, but it doesn't look too bad. Then we have the outfit design. So the red spandex has the white diamonds there on the chest, the white belt with the power coin. You can even kind of see the TRX on there with a the holster, white gloves with the red diamonds, and then white boots with the red diamonds as well. And then for movements, so the head can twist around and nod quite a bit. We do have a butterfly joint there at the shoulder so we get good range of movements there and then the shoulder itself comes up a little over 90 degrees and then rotates all the way around we have a bicep twist and then the double elbow joint wrist can twist around and flex then for the crunches we have the upper ab crunch there that allows the crunch and twist so you can get like good range of movements going in there and then we have the lower crunch as well that's right above the belt there that allows for additional crunch so you get good movements forward and good movements backwards of course no twist at the waist or anything because of that upper crunch but then when they have the legs come out about 90 degrees they come off to the side about that much and then barely back at all we have the thigh twist and double knee joint as well as the shin twist there right at the top of the boot and then the foot can flex back and forth and then twist side to side so pretty good range of movements there that's one of the good thing about these figures they have pretty good movement stuff so you can get them in poses and everything but for accessories we have the face here of jason which of course austin st john's face again i never liked the unmasked face and i don't think his looks very good i don't think it looks very much like austin but it's close enough and everything but again and I'll never be using it so it doesn't matter to me and then we got two fist hands so if you don't have to have the two like grip hands there we have two fist hands instead and then for weapons itself he comes one with the blade blaster so we got it in the gun mode there so we'll go ahead and stick that in the holster and then we also get the power sword which is pretty cool of course that's the Tyrannosaurus power coin on there and stuff and looks cool and it has this effect on it that they've been adding and I think it looks pretty cool it's pretty decent I wish it was a little bit different color or something and maybe like even a darker blue or like I said a completely different color maybe it just doesn't stand out enough for me but again and I like the effects because they're optional things you can add on and it adds a little more details thing so it looks like it has like electricity wrapped around it and everything it looks pretty cool there so again another cool Red Ranger figure again unfortunately we've had it pretty much before just with the dragon shield on it but still pretty cool there for the basic Mighty Morphin Red Ranger and next up we have Lord Draken and Lord Draken I don't know a whole lot about like Tommy's one of my favorite characters but I don't read the comics so I'm not 100% familiar with him so I had to look up some of the stuff but what I did already know I knew this was an evil version of Tommy it's from an altered dimension and this was like I said an evil version where he kind of had stuck around with Rita and became an evil version and as you can see he has a combination of his white tiger and green dragon zord and power coin kind of mixed together you can especially see it there on his chest that we'll look at but he returned back to Rita after his defeat in the first fight against Jason and they joined back together and took over the world and he ended up defeating the Power Rangers and he took on a new power here that he sees and then used that to kill Rita and then now he's out to control the world and he's described as being sinister tyrannical and and ruthless and he kills the power range so he's a very evil person but this character design though looks amazing though i absolutely love of course my favorite versions of tommy are the green ranger and white ranger and this just combines them both together so i get two of the best things put together there and so there's a look at the helmet looks very cool so we have a lot of inspiration you can see from the tiger helmet so you can see like the mouth there with the like whisker style designs coming off and then that head of the tiger but then it also has the little prong up here on the top of the dragon and the little jewel in the center so i think it looks really cool and then his dragon shield is now been altered again so it has like more pronounced stripes with the goldie and adding in the white tiger design then we have the coin there on his chest so again it's the three toe thing of the dragon sword but it has little pieces cut out with the center design there of the tiger sword so that looks cool then he's got the gold bands there on his arms and then again altered version of like gallets there on his arm mixed with the green and gold he's got a green belt on with the holster again with that same sort of power coin design there on his belt with the lord dragon coin the holster for the dragon dagger and then of course just all white spandex underneath again shin covering it's very 
similar to the gauntlets and then just white boots down at the bottom movements are going to be the same as the red ranger so the head can move there it doesn't nod too much just because of the color there of the shield but it twists as well at the shoulder it does have the butterfly joint but again the dragon shield gets in the way so not good movements there and then the shoulder can only come up about 90 because of that as well that has the bicep twist and a double elbow joint wrist twist and flex ab crunch and twist lower crunch legs about 90 degrees off to the side and everything thigh twist double knee joint twist there inside of like the boot covering or shin and foot flexes and twists all as usual so again all the ranges are pretty much going to be the same just have different limitations for his accessories comes with an unmasked head here of tommy so there we got jason david frank's older looking face they didn't add much of the like scarring and stuff you can see a little bit of it there on his cheek it's hard at least for me to see in the camera and stuff but yeah just the older version it has the long hair still it's all jet black this time though they're just sweeping down the back but again i don't like the look of this face i think it looks pretty close to tommy i just don't like unmasked heads so that's pretty cool there though and then we got two grip hands and then two fist hands to go with it as well and then of course we get the dragon dagger so we always have to have the dragon dagger and then it also comes with a little effect this thing we've had multiple times before that you'll just take it like stick on the end of the dragon dagger i hate this one but we'll go and stick the dragon dagger in his hand so there the dragon dagger in his hand like that looks pretty cool and that's really dang cool there for lord draken and next up we have the dino charge gold ranger and so again dino charge i wasn't a huge fan of i did watch most of the first season but wasn't very happy with it so i just didn't even watch the second season so i don't know a whole lot about the gold ranger here but i think it outfit design looks cool i think it's one of the better designs of the more recent power rangers i think it looks really cool but again i just can't get into the newer power rangers but this is sir ivan of xandor and he was a knight from 1215 and so he's an older knight that has been brought forward in time because back then he came across the gold power gem and he was trapped inside the villain fury but now in modern time as fury got the gold power gem and is trying to use it sir ivan was able to pull himself apart and was able to become out into the modern time so of course we have an old ancient knight from the 13th century now in our modern day trying to deal with it but his is based off the pterodactyl so that's why you get a lot of like pterodactyl style designs and stuff so he's the gold ranger also so he has a lot of gold as you can see so you can see gold all the way through the body in the deeper color of gold there on the arm which looks pretty cool it's very like reptile skin but the helmet looks cool then so again it's pterodactyl so we got the two little eyes there and then of course like the beak coming out and then the point there coming off the back of the head gold body there with like the power gym design there with the pterodactyl on it i love the shoulder pad here with the wing like designs coming off the back again for a pterodactyl has a little belt there with the dino head there on it of course some white glove he has the gold patera morpher there on his arm which also turns into a crossbow so that's pretty cool that can also be used as a weapon since the normal dino charges you have the gun he has a crossbow so that's pretty cool so that's there on his arm and then again gold all the way down to the boots has some silver designs there at the top of the boots as well so for movement's going to be about the same so the head can twist and nod shoulders does have the butterfly joint on its shoulders raise up again the padding gets in the way a little bit bicep twist double elbow wrist ab crunch lower ab crunch legs come out thigh twist double knee joint twist right there at the top of the boot and then foot flexes so yeah everything's about the same so nothing new there so for accessories we have sir ivan's unmasked head there so i guess you know looks pretty cool i don't really remember the look of the guy too much but it's played by davy santos so there's a look at his face thing looks pretty human and stuff so i guess it's probably not too bad but again unmasked head then we've got some hands so we got a fist hand go against the open hand then we also have the flat hand there as well to go on his leg left and then we got his weapon so we've got the gold patera saber there so he looks pretty cool as you can see it has the very much pterodactyl design so the eye and the beak there with a the little spike coming off the head and you can see it even kind of thing so that's pretty cool there that it does that you can even see it looks like the teeth design so that's pretty cool there and then it also comes with a lightning effect same as the red ranger just obviously in a different color so we can just slide that on there kind of like that and then we'll just stick it in his hand so just like that again doesn't look too great i may not have put it on fully but yeah it just adds a lightning effect there i think the yellow is much better than the blue color and stuff but there looks pretty cool though for the gold ranger and finally we have the beast morphers blue ranger and again i always try to start watching power rangers but then if i start getting bored and stuff i just stopped watching and that happened with beast morphers a couple episodes in so i gotta see how the rangers got their powers and everything and so we've got the blue ranger here and he has a dna link with a gorilla so it gives him some extra powers like strength and then he was the only one of the original three rangers that didn't get affected by evox the villain of the show where the other two rangers were taken over and became evil he was the only one that remained so he had to get the two new partners filling out the red and yellow ranger that we saw for the season but what i really did like though about beast morphers was the combination of the animals 
cells into like the DNA to give them some extra like powers and then they're like Zords as well so like his the gorilla that was a semi truck was always really cool to me but yeah I just couldn't get into the show but I don't really enjoy this outfit design too much I think especially like his helmet looks really weird just the way it's like cut flat on top but you can see the gorilla kind of face there the eyes and the nose then they have like sunglasses on then just has like a blue kind of like biker jacket or something over the top of it so it's got the blue with silver design silver stripe there down center silver under the arms and then just blue all over the rest of it you can see the bell on there with the grid battle force logo there or go busters I think is what it is in the Sentai version so it's got the GB so they had to come up with the grid battle force same thing on the logo there with like the shoulder straps there around him and then we have beast X morpher there on his arm which of course flips up and does the whole like vision thing and stuff which is kind of weird but at least they included the morpher there which is cool then he's just got some black leather style pants and then some blue boots down at the bottom with some additional details there around the top band movements of course going to be the same so I twist the nod butterfly joint shoulders bicep twist double elbow joint wrist twist and flex ab crunch lower ab crunch legs raise up thigh twist double knee joint twist right above the boot and then foot flexes and twists then his accessories we have the unmasked head there of Ravi Shaw the guy that became the blue ranger of course played by Jazz Budawala and again I don't recognize the face enough to be able to tell how accurate it is but it looks humanoid so I guess that's good enough for it and then we've got two additional hands so we got two blue fist hands there to go on with it we do have the sword here so we do have the beast x saber there which of course is like a pair of binoculars that fold out into a sword which is really weird i think the sword looks pretty stupid though but then it also has effect which is kind of cool it's like of course like a pixelated style effect on there i think that looks pretty cool though i really like that design so you just take it and slide the saber in there so you get that effect we'll go and stick in his hands just like that and then we also get additional effect here for a punch so i assume it just goes on the other hand or it could be the past hand i don't really know for sure but we'll just take it and slide it onto his hand out like i said don't know if it goes on there but it got that additional punch effect on there so it's kind of for like a punch or something which i assume goes into the effect of the gorilla dna so it's probably you know like a strong punch or hit or something from the gorilla but that looks pretty cool there though with that additional effect on it is cool so that's going to be it for our beast morphers blue ranger so that's going to be it for this power rangers lightning collection wave three set where we got the mighty Morphin red ranger lord draken dino charge gold and beast morphers blue rangers again another cool set the only two i care about and i'm personally going to be getting are the red ranger and the lord draken and this is my brother set so he gets all the rangers so that's why he has the other two there as well so again another cool set of lightning collection i think they're doing a really good job with the set i absolutely love the design i just want them to come out with more older figures especially the finish the mighty morph and everything but i hope you enjoyed this set be sure to let me know in the comments who is your favorite ranger out of the set leave a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe to the channel to see more of our lightning collection figures thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time